Okay, really quick, what's the first thing you think of when you think Seattle? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that you said uh, rain, maybe? That's even what me from the past said. But does it really rain that much? I mean, I know this because basically everyone who I talked to before I moved over here said, oh man, you're moving that place, it rains so much. Jeez, who wants to put up with that? I mean, yeah, it rains here like it rains in any other place, but it's not that simple, I swear. Let me show you. So first, let's start off with a quick geography lesson. We are here in Seattle, Mark by this gold star right here. And it's right next to this weird cat-shaped island, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a cat. I don't know, it seems like the right thing to do right now. To the north of Washington is, of course, Canada, America's hat. To the south is Oregon, the place where all the hipsters go, and Idaho to the east. I don't really know what to say about Idaho, so we're just gonna move on from that. And to the west is the Pacific Ocean. Striking almost right down the middle of the state is the Cascade Mountain Range. Many of the peaks in this range reach well above 10,000 feet, and that includes Washington's tallest point, Mount Rainier, at 14,410 feet tall. Okay, so let's start off with Seattle as a small scale example. And don't make fun of my drawing, I know it's amazing, okay? So when storm systems move in from the Pacific Ocean and travel over Seattle and the Puget Sound region, they come into a huge barrier with the Cascade Mountains. These storm systems, in order to make it over the mountains, have to break apart, and a lot of that leftover moist air condenses and rains down over the Puget Sound. This, on a macro scale, can create a very large band of annual rainfall and snowfall over the Cascade Mountains and a lot of the region to the left of that mountain range. After depositing a lot of its moist air in the form of precipitation over the mountains and in western Washington, there isn't a lot left for the eastern half of the state. And what gets created is this very large desert-like region in the area. This area is known as the Pacific Northwest Rain Shadow. High-level winds called jet streams also play a big role in how storm systems move. They don't just happen in one direction. For example, there's a northwestern wind that comes in and actually splits around the Olympic Mountains. This area is called the Puget Sound Convergence Zone. Add to that fact that the Olympic Mountains create their own rain shadow, and you're creating a region that gets a lot of variable rainfall year-round. So yeah, it does rain in Seattle, but believe me, it's complicated. Thank you for watching this video, and if you loved my amazing art skills, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And until the next one, I'll see you in the future.